Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, so we're continuing from page 26, um, lesson 18. Um, so here we're continuing with the silent letters, um, like we did in the previous page. So many letters or a word will have a letter which will be silent that you won't pronounce. So we're continuing with this box now. So first is U, and then this wow over here, you see that it doesn't have anything on top of it, underneath it doesn't have a haraka. So you ignore the wow. So this is u. Then this la, it has a alif, mamduda, um, small alif, and it has a mud on top of it. This mud, it means that you stretch the letter even more. Um, I'm not going to explain it fully now because it will come um, later on in, the next, in one of the other lessons. So all you need to know for now that it stretches it. So u, la, i. Ula-i-ka Ula-i-ka So then the silent letter here is the wow So again same thing It's a small alif, alif mamduda And then there's a mud on top so you make it stretch even longer Ha-u Okay now the rule here is whenever you have a wow And then on top of it is a hamza You ignore the wow Okay so you ignore this wow so it becomes ha u, and again same thing lam alif, and then with a mud on top of it la ha u la i ha u la i. Okay, so now the next box. First is a, and then it's nun with an alif. Whenever these two come together in the Quran, the alif on the nun will be silent. So you don't stretch the nun. So you don't say ana. So it's a na. So you ignore the alif. Ana ba sha basha run. Basha run. So the whole box. Ana basha run. So the silent letter here was this alif. Okay, next box. Now this fa in the beginning with the fatha will join to the nun um, with the sukun. So when you're joining, you ignore the alif in between. So this is our silent letter here, this alif in between. So you don't stretch the fa when you're joining to the nun. So it becomes fan. Now sad will join to the ba, sab. Fan, sab. Okay, so that's the next line. So again, same thing here. The wa will be joining to the nun, so you ignore the alif in between. One, then the ha will join to the ra. Try to pronounce the ha. From the middle of the throat. One har. Okay, it's first letter. Two. Then the second letter is a wow with double fatha. So two, one. Two, one. Notice the yeah at the end without any dots. Um, it's a silent yeah, so you ignore it. And likewise in this box, there's a silent yeah. Um, here's a silent wow, and here's a silent wow as well. So these are silent letters. So this this line is relatively easy. Hu, dan, hu, dan, so. So pronounce the sod with a full mouth. So it's not sa, it's so. Then the lam with a small alif, alif mamduda. La, so la. So you, when you say so, then la, so la, tan. So la, tan. See how I ignored that wow. The wow doesn't have anything on top of it. That's how you know it's a silent wow. Za, ka, za, ka. And the silent wow. Tan. Zakatan. Okay, so now we're coming on to the next line. So now the meme will join to the. Which letter is this? Now it's the same rule as we've done above. If you go look at the second box in the top line, I mentioned the rule, if you remember, that whenever there's a wow and on top of it is a hamza, which letter do you take? Yeah, so it's not the wow, it's actually the hamza, isn't it? So you ignore the wow. So the meme will join to the hamza. Mu, and the wow is the silent letter. So, mu, so, so again, full mouth. So, da, mu, so, da, tun, mu, so, da, tun. The machine. So now our silent letter here is the alif. Um, so what it is, whenever you have an alif, and on top of an alif, you have a hamza or a sukun or 
any other Arab or Fatha, Dhamma, or Kasra, Zaba, Zarapesh, then it's actually not an Alif, it's actually a Hamza. And that's what it tells you in the note at the bottom um, of the page. If you, if you read the note, it says, In lesson 19, explain how the Hamza with a Jazm on top should be read. The Alif which has a Jazm on top is known as a Hamza and should be read with a slight twitch. So all this time we've been telling you that, for example, this letter over here, Alif with a Zabar, we, we've been telling you it's an Alif, but technically that's wrong. It's not correct. It's actually a Hamza. So the rule is whenever a Alif has a Zabar, Zer, Pesh, meaning a Fatha, Dhamma, or a Kasra, it's actually not an Alif, it's a Hamza. So that's the rule you have to remember. So all this time, technically, we've been teaching you wrong. But the reason why I've been telling you like that is just not to confuse you in the beginning. So now that you're advanced, you're almost in lesson 19. So now we're telling you this. So here, the sheen, it doesn't join to an alif, it joins to the hamza. So it becomes sha and then nun. Sha nun. So you have to make sure you pronounce the hamza. It's like a hiccup sound. It's not sha nun. It's sha nun. So you pause slightly. Sha nun. Okay, next box. So again, the same thing. The ya will join to the alif. Okay, um, it's not an alif, is it? It's the hamza. So the ya will join to the hamza. So it's ya mu ya mu ru ya mu ru. Now this letter is a kaf, which joins to a mim. Kum ya mu ru kum. And again, same rule here. The wow hamza rule. Yu mi yu mi. No, you, me, no, and the last line. Okay, same, same rule over here as well. So the ta will join to the hamza, not the wa. Tu, thi, tu, thi, ru, tu, thi, ru. Now, if you remember, what rule is this? You have a pesh, a dhamma letter, and after it is a wow sakin, wow with a sukun. So, do you remember which rule that is? And um, we done it a few pages ago. So this is a mad asli. If you remember the three types of mad as uh, mad aslis, one was a pesh letter after it is a wow sakin, and one was a zabr letter after it is an alif, and the last one was a zer letter after it is a um, ya sakin. So this is the type of mad asli. Uh, just that was just quick revision. So tu thi tu thi. And the maddasli you stretch. Ru tu thiru na tu thiru na. So just a side note is you should notice that the only thing that should be stretched here is the maddasli. So the ra being stretched by the wow. Everything else should be short. And likewise in this row, the third row, nothing should be stretched. Um yeah. So the next box. So ta will join to the hamza. Ta here, this letter over here is a kaf. So ku, ta, ku. Now here again, this is a dhamma letter with the wow sakin. Lu, ta, ku, lu, na, ta, ku, lu, na. And then lastly, the ya will join to the hamza, yu. And then the ta will join to the wow. Now ta has a fatha this time. Tau, yu, tau, na. You tauna. Again, that's lesson 18 complete. So now we're going to go into lesson 19.